Hello, Namaskar, good afternoon. Welcome to NCRT's live interactive session. This is Simran Singh. And you are all watching us on PME with their channel number 9. Or you can also connect with us through our YouTube channel that you know is NCERT official. Later you can watch this particular session at our YouTube channel. So it's around 3.30 p.m. on your watch and we have brought you a session of mathematics. Well, the session is for class 9th. But even if the students from other classes have joined us, this is going to be a learning outcome for all of you. As we are going to discuss about lines and angles, part 6. This means that previously, five interactive sessions have been conducted for the same topic so that you could understand that in a detailed manner. And we have with us our expert for the session. Let me introduce her to all our viewers. We have with us Mrs. Bina Prakash. Namaskar, ma'am. Namaste. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. A very warm welcome in the session. Thank you. Thank you. Ma'am is a senior PGT Mathematics, currently serving at Campion School, has joined in from Bhopal. Viewers throughout our live interactive session, if you have any of the queries, so you can reach out to us at the contact number flashing on your screens. It is 8800440559. Besides, for class 9th, these are special sessions, so we also have our mail ID flashing on your screen. It is dth.class9 at the rate ciet.nic.in so if any of your queries your questions your feedbacks or messages remain unanswered so feel free to write to us in the comment section of ncrt official or either through our contact number or also through the mail id that has been just discussed so ma'am as we are discussing about the part six of lines and angles for class nine so i would quickly request you to please provide a brief of the previous sessions that we have conducted and then we may proceed with this one Thank you. Now, the chapter's name is Lines and Angles. So, we discuss certain properties of lines along with its angles, with the definition of angles. And we saw in the previous classes the different types of angles that can be formed by different lines. And if two lines are parallel, then you get a relation between those angles also. So, that was the part which was related to lines along with the angles. Now, where is the unique of the cross angle is the angles are part of a polygon. So, if we take up angles, some property of a triangle that is a unique part of the stuff. So, what we have is to find the angle some property of a triangle. That is, what will be the sum of the angles that is formed in this triangle? A triangle ABC, you have split it. So, this is visible, the point is here showing the triangle ABC. Is it clear? Yeah, it's is clearly clear? visible to our viewers as well. So the pointer is clear that the triangle ABC has three angles. One formed by the arm AB, that arm AB and arm AB. They make an angle A. So let me mark that angle A. This is the angle A. Then the arm formed by the angle formed by the arm AB and BC is this particular angle. Then we have an angle formed by the arm BC and CA that is the side. So the question says that what we are discussing is the sum of the angles of this triangle. What will the sum of the angles of a triangle be? Now how do we take up this? What we have done is we have taken up a construction agent. This is the construction part. Now what is that construction? I have drawn this line L. A line L is drawn parallel to we have drawn a line L which is parallel to and then we see that AB happens to be a transversal. The line AB is a transversal. That is, the two lines ABC and L, they are cut by this line AB. So this line AB which acts as a transversal forms angles. So what are the angles formed by this line AB with respect to the lines A? L and C, they are this particular angle. I am naming it 1 and this is angle C. Let me take this as X. Fine? Now, this is the angle formed by the lines L and the transversal AB. X is the angle formed by R, AB and BC of the triangle. So, this is one option. Likewise, we find that is on the other side also you have an angle formed by the lines L. With the transversal AC. AC is the side AC of a triangle happens to be transversal. So that's another angle that is formed. I'm making it as 2. 
that is or the angle C is formed by the transverse and AC flip side. So that let me name it as Y. So we have named the two angles of the triangle ABC as X and Y. So let me name this as A. Now what you need to find is how what is the sum of the angles? That is, you have to find to find the sum of the angles that is A plus X plus Y. You have to find the value of this together. How do we get it? Now, just try to relate one and X. What type of angles are they? Two lines, they are parallel. It is such as the last plus plus. This is two lines, they are parallel to each other. When two lines are parallel to each other, there are two lines which are parallel to each other. And there is a transversal. There is a transversal which cuts the two lines forming angles with the parallel lines. These are parallel lines. So the angles that we have here, this is represented by 1 and this is represented by x. I am translating this to figure. So what relation exists between these two angles? What type of angles are they? What are the pair of what type of angles are they formed? Isn't it the shape of Z? Do you remember the shape of Z forming alternate angles? They form set of alternate angles. 1 and X, they are forming alternate angles. And you know that as the lines are parallel, this is that L is parallel to CC. This implies angle 1 and angle X, the pair of alternate angles will be equal. So we have this information that is 1 and X are equal. Likewise, we have another information for AC also. 2 and Y also form the pair of alternate angles. So we have the measure of angle 2 and angle Y, they are equal. Okay, so that information do we have. Now we actually need to find the value of X plus Y plus A. So let's take up the sum of this. When you add up this expression, you are getting the sum of X. See, 1 plus 2. And the other side has x plus y. We need the value of x plus y plus a along with a. That means we need to add that quantity. So let me add it. So if you add a common uh, value to both equal sides, the value will not change. So that way we have added a to both the sides. Now what you see on the right hand side is the value that you require. x plus y plus a value to require. And when you see the sum of these three angles, 1, 2 and A, what do we find? They are part of the straight line A. The line A and A have been divided into three angles. One is angle A, the other one is angle A and the other third angle is angle Q. So the together, all the three together, they are on that straight line. So the measure of that angle comes out to be 180 degrees. So that's that property that we have used, that is the sum of angles of the adjacent angle which is from the straight line forms the linear pair. All three together make the linear angle, that is 180 degrees. So that is actually the measure of angle x plus angle y plus a. So therefore, the sum of the angles that is represented in terms of capital letter a, we have the sum of the angles of the triangle at a plus angle b plus angle c. So this was the first information that we had. So through this information, we will be getting some questions from the textbook. Okay? So this is the NCR textbook question. The question is, you have to find the measure of angle PRQ. PRQ, let me identify the angle PRQ. PRQ, I have already named it in terms of X. Since it has, it has been found, we need to find the value of this to be represented as an unknown quantity. Let me take it as X. Uh, how do I get the value of x? With the information that these two angles measure is given to us. The measure of this particular angle is 135 degree, measure of this particular angle is 110 degree. Now x happens to be a part of the angle of triangle P2 part. So that means you need to bring in, just now we see, so we have seen that the sum of the angles of a triangle, if we name it as 1, this is 2. So we have the information that 1, 2 and x together we have the value of angle 1, 2 and x together, all three values come together gives us 180. Fine? So that is okay with this relation. But the question is to find the value of x. 
Uh, how do we get angle 5? What relation exists between 1 and 3? Uh, sorry, 1 and 135 degrees. 1 and 135 degrees. 1 and 135. Measure of this angle 135 makes a linear pair. So it's 180 one. degree. So what is the value of angle 1? 180 minus? 135. 135. So what does that come out to be? What does that come out to be? 45. So you have the value of the set 45. Likewise, what is the measure of angle 2? You find that two adjacent angles are given. It's an adjacent angle. And the two together make a straight line DQR. So same relation, angle 2 plus 110 degree is 180 degree. So we have the value of angle 2 also. We have no problem in getting the value of angle 2. What is that? 70 so, degree. And angle X is 180. So we have the value of X now. What will the measure of angle X be? It's 180 minus the sum of the angle that we find. 115. Minus 5 degree. So what will the sum of 65. Be? We have the value of angle x that is 65. Fine. We move on to the next question. Now here we have a question which says that see, we have the question is OX and OZ are bisectors of angle XYZ. OX is the bisector of XYZ and OY. OZ is the bisector of angle XZY respectively. You have to find a relation between angle Y OZ and Y XZ. The question is to find the relation between the two angles that is this particular angle and this particular angle. So how do we relate it? What we find is we need to know how to start the question. So how do we start the question? What we find is this particular angle which I write it as in the form of A. I am just representing and this is a y. Right? So these are the measures of these two angles. Now do they not form, form a part of this triangle? And the x is a part of the triangle x, y, z and y is a part of triangle o, y, z. So we will make use of the angles and properties of these two triangles. So first relation, what do we have as the first relation? What the first relation that we can get? Angle x. <coughs> Angle X. Now these are two angles which are equal. O A, OY is a bisector of angle Y. So let me take this angle as A. So this will also be A. Likewise, if this is B, this will also be B. So these are just the representations we are using to get a relation. Right? So what we have from here is from triangle, that is in triangle X, Y, Z. What relation do we have? Angle X plus twice of angle A. Plus twice of angle B. The whole angle XYZ is twice of the sum of the three angles of this triangle is 20. Likewise, in triangle, in triangle O by Z, what do we get? If the sum of the angle that is Y plus A plus B is 20. That is the sum of the angle. Now, actually, the question is to connect X and Y. If the question is to connect X and Y, we need to look for a way to remove this A and B. How do we remove this A and B? So, we find that in this, if you have somehow mapped to A and to B, then we can relate it. So what I am doing is, we are multiplying both, that is, both sides of this expression by 2. So, on multiplying the two expressions, what do I get? I get 2Y plus 2A plus 2B as 360 degrees. Fine. And then the other end, the relation is already there. We have another relation that is x plus 2a plus 2b is 180 degrees. Now what we be done from this to everything expression, we have to everything expression. We have to connect x and y. That means we have to remove these two quantities a and b. How do we remove these two quantities a and b? Just subtract the two expressions. So when you subtract the two expressions, what do you find? The two a, the expression that we have, that is, this is from subtracting. Two a minus two a becomes zero. Two b minus two b becomes. You have eliminated the two as the quantities, quantities which you don't require. So this is how we solve the question. That is, we have two x minus two y. Sorry, two x two y minus x. That comes out to be three sixty minus one eighty degree. That is one eighty. What relation exists? So we can write a relation here that is y which is representing 
angle y o z is actually y o z is actually 90 degree can you see that relation plus half angle by x z so we have related the angle by z x with y o x now we find that if you have a similar situation this work with the interior angle we can always get a relation with the exterior angle every angle of a triangle this is pqr triangle this angle is an interior angle it has an exterior angle also we have an exterior angle so how do we describe that exterior angle you extend the side of the triangle pq is extended it is extended coming out so what angle is formed by the extended side and qr is known as extended angle so if I name this point as L, so R Q L is known as the exterior angle for angle B. Likewise, if this point is M, let me mark this point as M, then Q R M will be the Q R M will be the exterior angle for this angle R. So these are the exterior angles. So here the question is expression given is OP and OR are the exterior angle by that is OQ OQ divides the exterior angle into two equal angles and OR likewise divides the exterior angle into two equal angles again same way we will take the approach we have to get a relation between these two angles we need to get a relation between these two angles so what I am writing is I will write this measure as P and let me express this measure as 1 so I will write this as 1 this as 2 so what information do we have from this? See, angle 1, this is also 1, this is also 2, this will also be 2. So how do I connect it? I know that angle 1 plus angle 2 is plus the special of angle, that is angle 1 plus angle 2 plus the angle 4, they all three forms an angle, so it's a part of a triangle, we have it as 1 again. Now how do we connect this angle? Let's take up the integer angle. What will this angle be? Let me take this as Q and R. So what information do we have for Q and R? Let's write out that information. Angle P plus Q plus R is 180. Now what is this angle Q? We have to come somehow connect to the 1 and 2. 1 and 2 must be connected because O is expressed in terms of 1 and 2. P also needs to be expressed in terms of 1 and 2. Can you connect it? Let's see the relation between Q and angle 1. So what we find is Q is A is Q and 2 times angle 1 forms a linear pair. So it's 180 minus twice of angle 1. Likewise, R is also 180 minus twice of angle 2 which is equal to 180 degree. So from this, what do we get from here? We get the relation between P1 and Q. What is that relation? P is, to take it to one side, you have P plus 180 degree is twice of angle 1 plus twice of angle 2. So we find that P is also related to 1 and 2, O is also related to 1 and 2. Same way, now multiply the whole thing expression, expression by 180, what do we get? Twice of angle 1 plus twice of angle 2 plus twice of angle 2. O is 1. So what is this twice of angle 1 and twice of angle 2? It is P plus 180 degree plus <coughs> twice of angle O is nothing but P 60 degree. So what is the relation between angle O and angle P? That is angle Q, O, R happens to be this 360 minus 180 will come up with 180 and it half is 90 degree. Minus, he goes to the other side as minus. And it's half means half of angle Q, P, R. So that's the relation that we have between the exterior angle and the one pair of interior angle. Now let's see the question that we have here. If one angle of a triangle is 180 degrees from 110 degrees, then find the angle bisectors of the other two interior angles. Find the angle between the angle bisectors of the other two angles. Is it exactly the same question that we discussed just now? If one angle of a triangle, it says that if one angle of a triangle 
have a triangle we have a triangle this is a triangle if one angle of a triangle is 110 the measure of this angle is 110 you have to find the angle between the bisectors of the other two interior angles so if this is interior angle then this is one interior angle and this is another interior angle suppose this is another interior angle so you have to find the angle between the two interior angles so what relation do we have just now we have seen that the interior angle is clear that is x is what's the relation that we have that is angle q o r angle y o z y o z is 90 plus half the measure of that vertical angle that is the vertical angle so it's half 90 degree plus half if you remember this result you can always work out with this it's half of 90 so what is the measure of this half of this is 55 degree. so this is 90 plus 55 that is 100 this is how we get the value of this question. Okay. Now we move on to the next question. Now yeah, ma'am. Before we proceed in the conversation, just a small piece of information. We are left by the last five minutes of this session. So we'll try to make it quick. Okay. I'll just manage it. Now we have to prove the relation here that is L A C. I mean L A C and L B A. L B A. L A C is this particular angle. L B A is this particular angle. You have to connect these two angles and prove that they are equal. So let us identify these angles. Triangle L A C happens to be a part of the triangle A L C. So you find that L A C in this triangle, if you have this as one, what this angle one and this angle this angle two. 1 plus angle 2 plus 90 degree. What is it? Angle 1 plus angle 2. Angle 1 plus angle 2 plus 90 degree. Isn't it forming the angles of a triangle? So what angle measure? What is the measure of these three angles? It comes out to be 180. Now likewise, let me take up this. Now how do we get this three? How, which way we should be involved this three? It's three. This is for triangle in triangle A L C. Now in triangle A B C. Let me take up the bigger triangle A B C first. We need to eliminate this two. We don't have to have two in between. Somehow we have to eliminate two. So how do we take up two in this We get that is two triangle A B C. So what do we find? The angles of the triangle A B C are three. This measure to this measure and this one angle to this measure is already 90 degrees. So they are flat comes out to be 180. Now when you take up these two expressions and subtract the two expressions, you find that automatically 2 is eliminated. So when you eliminate 2, this is subtracted. So what we get from here is 1 minus angle 3. Everything is 0, 0, 0, 0. So what relation do we have? Isn't it angle LAC equal to angle LEA? What was asked in it? Okay. Likewise, this is another question. Bisector of angle B, the bisector of angle B and the exterior angle of angle ABD. ABD, this is the point B. ABD is exterior angle. This is exterior angle of ACD. Exterior angle ACD, bisector is CD. So if these two angles are equal, let's say we can name it. It is 1. And if this is taken as 2, so from here what we have is, see, you have to connect the BTC angle BTC, this two angles have to be connected. Again, take up the triangle, we get the information, see, take up the triangle. In triangle ABC, in triangle ABC, what we have is, one, twice of this, see, twice of this, we have a relation that is twice of angle 2, and A, they together form this, that is with this, it is 180 degree. What is the measure of this angle? It is 180 minus twice of angle 1. So we have this relation that is the interior opposite angle is the exterior angle. So this is 1, but this is angle 1. 
this will come out to be 1. So, this is one relation. Now, in triangle BD, BTC, let us relate 2 and 1. What we have? Angle 2. This is angle 2. And then angle T. Isn't it? The exterior angle BTC. This is going to be the exterior angle. That is angle 1. This says that sum of interior opposite angle is equal to exterior angle. It's the exterior angle that we have. So that way we have this relation. So again connect it. We get it. See, we have to remove this one and two and all. So how do we remove it? Just multiply by two. Multiply this relation by two and subtract it. What do we get? This is two. These two relations have to be subtracted. Angle twice of angle 2 minus twice of angle 2 is 0. So we get angle A minus twice of angle T is twice of angle 1 multiplied by twice of angle 1 that is 0. So isn't it the same thing that you have? That is angle A is twice of angle T or angle T which is angle B T C is nothing but half of angle B A C. So these are questions which yeah. require algebraic simplification. Uh, yeah ma'am. Um, I'll have to I'll have to inform you that we have to make the previous question the last one in our session as we are short of time. Yeah. Will I make to complete this question just? Yeah, ma'am. You can take two more minutes to complete this question, but just okay. two minutes. Okay. Now here you have to find the you have to prove the result angle A P F measure of angle A P F which I have expressed as angle A P is half the relation. Of difference between angle Q and R, assuming that the angle Q is greater than angle R. Okay, look at the triangle that we get with this triangle, angle APM. APM is formed from this triangle P and A, right? And you have to involve angle Q and R. So how do we involve? So look at this triangle, E, M, R. If you click, <coughs> what we have is, Angle P plus X and the angle R, measure of angle R, along with 90 degree is 180 degree. That is much. This whole thing, this is 90 degree and this is 90. Uh, this is measure of angle R. <coughs> Likewise, now in triangle PQM, PQM, what we have is the angle Q with the M angle that is 90 degree plus what is this angle now? What is the measure of this angle? Because see, the whole thing, this is there. P A is the y vector. This is x and this is also x. So this happens to be <coughs> x minus p. So this is x minus p. The sum of it is 1 degree. <coughs> Since we have to connect p then Q and R, P and Q and R has to be connected. What we do is, we'll remove the others. The removal of others says that you have to subtract. X and X can be removed only when it is subtracted. That means you have to subtract the second statement from the first statement. Let's take up the operation. What do we get? This P and P gets added up. You get P. X gets cancelled with it. And R gets your, the measure of angle R, this is minus of angle Q and that 180 minus 180 is 0. So do you see the result? P is the measure of angle P. That is P is angle A, P, M. This, when you take it to the right hand side, the sign changes. The angle Q minus angle R, half of the whole thing. Okay? So this is how we solve the questions for the triangle. Yeah, ma'am. I think we have covered all the important examples under the sixth part of the session. I assume so. Yes, yes. These were the questions which were based on some of the answers. All right. It may be noted, uh, all our students and viewers, that this is the sixth part that is a continuation of the title that is lines and angles for class 9 textbook of uh, NCRD mathematics if you have any of the queries feel free to write to us in the comment section of our youtube channel that is NCRD official besides you also know our contact number flashing on your screens and our mail ids for class 9 so this is an important chapter and we have discussed about it at length 
so no questions of yours should be remain like unanswered once again bina ma'am i would like to thank you for such an informative session thank you thank you ma'am thank you thank you to all the viewers who have connected with ncrt for this particular session stay connected do not go anywhere our upcoming session is webinar namaskar